Biomic, Biomic Soldier. Bam, bam. Oh, bye, oh, bye. That is not even close. Litter, dry food, cat grass, cat grass, toy, wet food. And that's how you can. All right, day 51. Day 51 of 100 days of making comics where I, Gazbot, take 30 minutes and make sure I work on my own personal comic project. In my case, the Horror A4, a kaiju comic, giant monster stuff. Issue one done, working on issue two. Now yesterday was day 50, the halfway mark. Today's day 51. How you feeling, pretty good? I'm feeling pretty good too. Um, I went out and took care of a lot of uh, life stuff, buying cat food, things like that. I also took some detours and looked at some toys. It's kind of a bummer because yesterday I was like hammering it, you know, and then today I had some free time. I didn't have any client work lined up that I had to work on right now. And so I, I said, well, I'm going to take care of some real life stuff, but I could have done it quicker. As I was out, I was, I don't know, I was out for three hours and I was like, I probably could have done this in an hour and a half if I wasn't stopping at Walgreens and Toys R Us and places like that. Now, I did find a couple figures on sale that I bought, so it wasn't for nothing, but it was irresponsible of me. Uh, not so much the money, although there's certainly an argument to be made there, uh, but just the time-wise. So I got home, sat down, before I did anything else, I did two hours on the horror. Now, I could have done more, should have done more, not as good as yesterday, but second best day I've probably had since I've been doing it. Let me show you what I got. First thing I did was finish the roughs on page six here. Um, I basically cleaned up his face a little bit, adjusted the posture, made her smaller. I still think he might be too big in relation to her, so I may size her up or shrink him down, but otherwise it's done, finished, whatever. Came over here to page seven and I did my lazy routine where I was like, okay, I'll do her, right? Uh, that looks like a lot of work. Uh, I'll do this one. So I did this one and then I was out of lazy panel. So then I chose between the next two lazy panels and I did this one. Now I haven't drawn her, that's still the rough, but I, I did the staircase all in perspective and everything, got about that far done. So in two hours, I did two complete panels and two half panels. So figure, yeah, and that makes sense. If it takes me on an average half hour panel, that's like an hour and then, eh, whatever, you get the idea. So despite the fact that I could have done better, still good progress made, uh, it's early, it's only like 6.30, I'm gonna eat dinner. I might get back to this, I might work on some other things. Uh, I, I realize I don't have any client work, but something that I keep pushing off is the horror standee, which was a stretch goal that I owe mainly to myself, but also, you know, I, I said I was going to do it. And while no one has said, hey, where's that standee? Because it's not a reward, it is something I need to finish, um, and so maybe I will put that in the rotation with this as a client job, because uh, it is, sort of. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Uh, maybe I'll st stop back in a little bit and show you some of my toys. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat dinner and then maybe we'll look at some toys. All right, a little bit of toy time as promised. Now, these aren't exciting opened up, ready to play or put on my shelf and display. These are the two I picked up today from Walgreens. This is the Scarlet Spider, the original Ben Riley from the 90s, uh, who I was not a huge fan of this design, this suit, but I don't know, time makes it nostalgic. Really, I just think it's a very nice figure is the main thing that's got going for it. Uh, that one I had to think about a little bit. This one I did not. This is Ghost Rider. Uh, I had seen this one. Somebody else had it, and I thought it was fantastic. I always liked the look of Ghost Rider even more than his actual comics. And this one kind of had a great mix of Dan Ketch, who was the 90s one, who was the one I liked growing up, and uh, Johnny Blaze, the original. This seems like the perfect mix. And the clear plastic on his skull head, this was an easy sale. What helped is these normally ro rotate. These rotate. Look, they rotate. No. Uh, they retail for $20 a piece. Uh, I got them at Walgreens for $15 each new so you know that helps and I'll probably sell these build figures for a few dollars so makes it even cheaper I moved over here trying to catch less glare this is one I got the other day also on sale I think it was 16 instead of 15 but this is also Ben Riley uh, the not so well I guess he's the Scarlet Spider but this was the updated outfit which I like much much better and he comes with these carnage parts so you can make him spider carnage and then more build a figure parts for absorbing man which again I'll probably just sell for a few bucks uh, this one uh, I thought was fantastic and the superior costume of the two. Um, it's the same characters as the one with the hoodie, the same person underneath. It's not Peter Parker, but Ben Riley, his clone. I haven't actually got a lot of Marvel figures in a while. I have a few DC animated, like from the, the cartoon shows, mainly from like the 90s and 2000s. 
Um, I'm generally speaking, I'm a bigger Marvel fan. Although I, you know, the, I didn't get into the Legends. I collected the line when I was younger. The toy that was put out that was not very good, to be honest. And then when they started getting good, is around when I stopped collecting. And I've been fighting against it because I collect so much stuff. But I ended up picking up a few because I wanted a Giant Man figure from the movie. And once I did that, the seal was kind of broken, and I've been picking up a few on sale here and there. Uh, but that is like kind of unusual, and that's newer. Uh, this is something you're probably more accustomed to seeing. Ha <laughs> ha! Mighty Morphin Red. Jason or Rocky. I actually now have two reds because I have the Comic-Con exclusive which comes with different accessories and has a different paint job. This one, uh, so, uh, somebody in a toy group found, got it for me. I didn't pay over retail, they just shipped, I paid the three bucks to ship it and that is my favorite thing about toy groups is when you can help each other out. Not for a profit, but hey, I found this, you want it. And I've done that for other people too and uh, that's my favorite, that's my toy uh, communism. <laughs> Commune is the word I was looking for. Yeah, I know, hold on. Commander, what's going on? I'll come down to pet you, and let's see if you chomp on my hand. Hi. Oh, are you gonna chomp? Oh, that's a weak chomp, that's good. She used to attack like a crazy, now she does a weak chomp. All right, this has been a somewhat unconventional one. Got Star Commander meowing at me, so I'm gonna go. Uh, good work today, guys. Hmm. <laughs> and um, Mike Emirates is once again doing 100 Days of Comics. Ox is doing something, I don't know if it's 100 Days. It's worth checking out either way. There are other people doing 100 Days too. I forget who. If you're watching and you're one of them, tell me and I'll mention you. But for now, this is Gazbot signing off from my 100 Days on Day 51. And if today is Day 51, Star Commander, well, you know what that means. Captain, we've got 49 days left!